guys. Today, as I said, we're gonna, first of all, we're gonna drive one of my old Range Rovers into the barn because I have washed it and driven it for a little while. I had some speculators came to see it, maybe buy it, but they didn't. So um, for now, we'll drive it into the barn again and we will uh, keep it for now. But for today, rest of the episode, we will continue working on Hubba. As you can see, we tailgate. I got a friend of mine who climbed into the car. We sorted it out together by one of us was standing outside and one of us from the inside. And as you can see, we removed the outer handle and this was totally jammed. So we need to remove it and then we could unlock the tailgate and the upper tailgate and the lower tailgate. The upper ta tailgate open up and the upper tailgate open up. Oh my god. So the upper tailgate open up and also the lower tailgate open up. But as you see we have some stuff that is loose for now that we detached from it. This one should be on the inside here, something like this and so on. But at least we got it out and we can now work a little bit easier, clean it and so on. But as you see, it's a, it's a good looking car. Not too much rust. It was a little bit rust on this corner, but maybe we can just sand it down a little bit and put on some new spray paint. Get rid of all these old leaves and stuff. But the, that's not the main focus of this episode. We got... There we go. So this is the main piece today. We got some new exhaust for Hubba that we're gonna try to mount on the car. We have an old exhaust that is rusted out so we need to cut some old bolts and slam them off because they are really rusty. But first of all I will drive the old rangey inside the barn so we will grab some keys. I think it's these ones. Uh, and we'll see how the car starts up and if we can get it going again. If there's anyone who's interested in a Range Rover Classic Suffix D from 1977, two doors, 3.5 V8 that runs and drives, leave a comment. No gas, probably. I don't think we have any gas. Pump up some fuel. The gas pedal. Oh my god. All right, that didn't go as planned. I uh, couldn't get it going, so I pushed a little bit harder on the accelerator, on the throttle, and it's just. Mm -hmm. So something broke. I don't know what, if it was the throttle cable or I don't know. So uh, the car will be standing outside the barn for a while. Let's move on. You can see the exhaust is dismounted but 
that thing, that ring. I cut off the bolts and they are super solid rusted out, rusted in. So I need to somehow drill those out or I don't know if you can slam it out or something. Uh, so I will spend some time underneath here and try to get those out. Wish me luck. Okay guys, so that is not maybe the safest way to cut some metal. You see the spark is flying all over and including on my shirt and my face. And it was at this point I realized that this camera had only shot the videos in slow motion and no sound. As you can see here, you have the rear muffler of the exhaust system from Britpart. Here is the center muffler that we're gonna attach to the downpipes from the manifold. And this is the meeting surface to the exhaust pipes. And here I am shortening a bolt that was too long and also how the nut will thread on to the bolt. It was a bit tricky to get the exhaust system fully seated, but eventually I think got it in place and after that attached the bolt. This is the pipe that is going over the rear axle. It's a big pipe. A bit fiddly to get the exhaust system in the right location. Either it was a little bit too far back or too far to the front. Uh, but I think we got it in place eventually and no gap between the pipes. This is the end result and I think it looks great. When we get the bumper on it will hopefully look very very good. I'm putting in a new battery so we can fire up the car once again. And here I am in an awkward position saying it looks good. right up sounds pretty good sounds pretty good let's see if we can give her some revs or if it just will die she's just dying It doesn't idle super good, but if I rev it slowly, As you heard, the 
the engine is stalling a little bit when we put some throttle on either we can increase the speed or the revs but then we'll, when we let go it just shut down so that will be the mission for the next episode when we are digging into a little bit further why the car is stalling or why the engine is sort of suffocating but as you can see I'm still happy though I'm pretty dirty after grinding rust and fixing the exhaust system but please click like and subscribe if you like my work and please put on the notification bell to get notified when I upload new videos that will be highly appreciated so I just gonna say um, thank you for watching and ciao